small mailbox and it comes complete with a little card that you can deliver to a friend. So if you want to know how I made this working mailbox, go ahead and keep watching. Just like my larger mailbox, my smaller mailbox also has two different options on what you would like to use with your students. Basically, just like the other one, this is the one you would use if you want your students just to color the mailbox and just make it unique to them. But I'm going to show you the second version because like I said, those ones are my favorite because you get more of a rich color into it as well as I just really like putting things together. So you're going to start off with the base and I did the base in black because it's going to be the piece that is going to be in the background and so I just wanted to keep it black. Next you're going to take the one that says layer and this is going to be a little different. You're not going to be adhering this directly onto the base and I went ahead and I cut this out already and just so I don't get confused, I'm going to give this piece to my students last. So I'm going to put this to the side and we will not use this until we are done with this. Then you are going to use this page, it's a flagpole, and you are going to cut out one flagpole. This page is the flag, so you're going to cut out one flag. And this page is the hearts, so you're going to cut out one heart. So what you want to do is you basically want to take your base and without gluing it down, you're just going to line it up. And you can either glue this down right away or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a brad and I'm going to poke a hole where I want the brad to be. And just make sure it goes through each layer. Again, you'll have different tools with your students. And like I said, you can just glue it down if you want, or you could put a brad in there. Next one I'm going to do, I'm going to adhere this down, but since it's going to be a working mailbox, we're going to only do the outline. So I'm going to take my glue runner and I'm only going to place glue or tape, but my students will be using liquid school glue, just going around the edges. And then you're going to go ahead and go around the rim of the mailbox, making sure you do not go inside the inside rim. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is before we adhere this down, we're going to want to... put our brad in place. So I just have my brad here. And just starting at one corner and working towards the rest. We're just going to adhere this down. Now the reason you want this part open is because you're going to be able to put your letter inside of there. Then I'm going to want to put glue on the flagpole 
and making sure that it lines up with the base layer before I press it down. And that just makes it look like it's attached and not just sitting around. You could always punch out with a hole punch a little circle and just glue it onto there. Then I'm just going to adhere the little flag. and the little heart. I'm just gonna add some glitter glue onto this heart to give it a little bit more sparkle. Now you can go ahead and decorate this as much or as little as you want. I have this already made so you can just put it through the copy machine and you can just print it on cardstock or construction paper and that's why I put more than one picture on one piece of paper just because you can save paper but if you would like to just use this as a template and have the kids write whatever they want on there you could actually trace this onto pattern paper or if you have eight and a half by eleven pattern paper you can go ahead and put it in your printer and then that way it will come out with a really nice decoration on your own. One thing that I forgot to mention, but it's pretty self-explanatory, you want to cut out this little area because this is where your letter is going to go. I also included two letter templates. You have a girl owl and a boy owl and it has the date, the greeting, the body, and the closing. And I also created two coordinating envelopes. So again, you have the girl and you have the boy. And so I just made a really quick one for my husband. And they can decorate this and they can color it and they can draw a picture on the back. And they're just going to fold it up. And then they're going to cut the envelope out and fold on the dotted lines. And you're going to want to make sure you model this for your students a few times. And it's very important that they use a glue stick. Um, works work best. So I'm just going to be using my tape runner and something that I like to show my kids because normally they just put like a ton of glue on here and then it sticks and since it's, since it's going into a paper mailbox it will get stuck inside and you don't want to get a letter stuck inside a mailbox. So what I always tell my kids is just once you have it folded up, trace a line. That way you know where to keep your glue. You can use any type of glue that you want, but with my students, I prefer glue sticks because they're not messy and when you press it down, it won't seep out of the edges. And then you just put your letter in. And then you can either glue it shut, tape it shut, or put a little sticker on there. I normally just have my kids keep it open just because you don't want someone to have to rip it open. And then all you do is you stick it in the envelope in the mailbox. You can have it hanging out a little bit if you want them to see that they have a letter, or you can place it all the way in. And if you want, you can go ahead and actually staple around the corners onto a wall so you can make a bulletin board of this and they can send each other little Valentine's Day cards or you can basically just use it throughout the school year. So if you guys are interested in this file, I have a link in the description. You can also visit my blog for more teaching ideas and I hope you enjoyed today's craft and if you try it out with your own kids, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.